What is Nodding Syndrome? Nodding Syndrome is a severe neurological disease affecting young children in a few places in Africa. What are the signs and symptoms of it? These are children who are healthy until about age five. They get spells of head nodding, and then they have trouble eating. They often lose weight, develop other seizure-like activities, and eventually they drop out of school and can require around-the-clock care. Can people die from it? Many of the children have died, often from drowning, falling into fires, or malnutrition or other incidental infections. These are common causes of death for children with severe seizure disorders in Africa and elsewhere. Well, who is most affected by it? These are young children between the ages of 5 and 15 years of age. What, uh, what countries have the most cases? The three countries where Nodding Syndrome has been reported are Uganda, Sudan, and Tanzania. When was Nodding Syndrome first recognized? Well, head nodding as a part of epilepsy has been described as far back as the 1960s in Africa. But the description of nodding disease as a distinctive clinical syndrome really occurred in Sudan in the 1990s and more recently in Uganda. Is this a rare syndrome? It is rare worldwide, but in affected villages, there can be hundreds of cases. In a recent community-wide survey in northern Uganda, more than a thousand cases were identified. Well, in terms of etiology, have the underlying causes been identified? No, we don't yet know the underlying cause. We have identified the immediate cause of the head nodding. It's a type of seizure known as an atonic seizure. But what has led to this epidemic of atonic seizure is still being investigated. The most consistent finding in cases is a higher incidence of exposure to a parasite called Oncocerca volvulus than in community controls of the same ages. The Oncocerciasis parasite is endemic in a lot of areas globally. Why aren't all of these areas affected by nodding syndrome? We don't know. It may be that there's a second factor involved, or there's a particular strain of the parasite, or perhaps a reaction to it that's peculiar to these populations. Or it could be that rare cases of nodding syndrome have been missed in areas where onchocerciasis occurs, but at lower frequencies than in these areas. Oh, so is there a hypothesis as to why this would be so? One intriguing idea is that the disease is an autoimmune seizure disorder caused by autoantibodies that the body makes against the parasite that through a process of molecular mimicry attack its own brain tissue. What are the special circumstances that make this illness so hard to track? Nodding syndromes occurring in remote areas with few medical or other resources also, we know that unexplained neurologic conditions often take many years to figure out. Well, does the problem seem to be getting worse? Are more children getting it? It was getting worse for several years in northern Uganda and in South Sudan. Now, our colleagues tell us that the rise in the number of cases in northern Uganda is beginning to slow, so we have some optimism that the epidemic curve is leveling off. Is there any treatment for it? The children can be treated for the symptoms. They can be provided with food and vitamins for the malnutrition and anti-epileptic drugs for the seizures. But there have been no cures that we're aware of. Well, thank you, Dr. Dowell.